Hi friends, Susanna here today, and today I'm super excited to be working on a hack. So um, this is going to be a two-part video because I saw this beautiful dress for the holidays and I wanted to recreate it and I knew exactly what patterns to use with Ellie and Mac patterns um, to recreate this dress. But I'm going to show you a picture of this. It's got a applique uh, like words on the front panel. So we're going to today work on those applique letters. I'm going to show you just exactly how I'm going to um, get those on my top without an embroidery machine. It's just going to be on my regular sewing machine. And then I'm going to use two patterns to recreate the rest of the dress. And that will be our next video. Super easy, super quick, super simple. I'm so excited. Let's get started. All right, I start by typing joy into whatever your word system is on your laptop and then figuring out what um, different font you want to use. So that takes forever because I'm trying to figure out which font I liked best. Eh, this one's cute. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with this one and then I'm going to make it as big as I want it to be. All right. Uh, my orientation is on landscape right now so that I can make this a little bit bigger so I can see that. Um, I think this is going to work. I'm not sure, but we'll see once it's printed if I need to make it bigger or smaller. Obviously, you can look at the sizing of it and figure out if, if it's going to work for you or not. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my web browser. And then I'm going to type in uh, clip art ornament outline free. So it gives me all these, I'm, I'm going to images and it gives me all these different images of outlines of um, ornaments and I'm going to pick one that I like. Really, it doesn't really have to be very intricate because of the fact that I'm really only cutting out the shape. So I just grab one and you are going to save it as a download and then you go back to your joy over here and you insert that uh, ornament. All right. So here it is, and I'm going to make it as big as I think I'm going to need it to be for it to like fit my joy. So then I'm going to go ahead and print both of these things, and that's what I'm going to use as my, eh, maybe a little bit smaller. And that's what I'm going to use as my template for making my, um, my front of my top. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm cutting out my letter. So yes, if you had a Cricut and you wanted to do this on vinyl, that would be one way to do it. Also, if you had an embroidery machine, you could just embroider this right on there. But we don't right now, so this is what we're doing. This is the easy way to make this project with just the sewing machine. All right, so here it is, my letters and my ornament. Now I'm going to grab some fabric that I'm going to cut out my letters and ornament out of to go ahead and attach them to my front of my bodice. All right, so now I'm just finding scraps of fabric that I'm gonna use. Um, I, have a I have a leopard. I don't have a red polka dot or a striped black on this cotton fabric. So I am going to use what I have. I think this is gonna look cute. Um, I love the front of this fabric. It's got this gold leaf on it so I'm going to do the actual ornament with the red and then I'm going to use these gold leaf here and just draw the square of the ornament to be the top and I think that's going to be really cute with like a little accent um, so I think that that's what I'm going to do yeah that'll be cute so I'm going to start with the letters and I'm going to flip it the wrong way and I'm going to draw it right onto my fabric and I'm using a water soluble marker, but you can really use any kind of marker because it's going to be on the back of the fabric anyway. You could draw it on the front of the fabric facing right with a water soluble, but um, you can also flip it like I just did and draw it on the back. Once it's finished, we're going to go ahead and cut these out. All right, so once it's cut out now, I'm kind of seeing that I like this pattern to be facing up. I think that that's what I'm going to do. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out my front bodice so we can attach this to it. Um, I'm super excited about it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and find that middle area of my bodice. So I know exactly where my middle is. Just kind of finger press it. So I have it right there. And put my ornament right there. So I know exactly where my middle is. And then my J will go beside it. And my Y. And I don't know, you can place them however you want to, if you want them to be like on top of each other or behind it or whatever, just kind of place them a little bit out. I think that's gonna be super cute. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab actually a glue stick and I'm going to kind of glue it on for ease of sewing. All right, now we're gonna go to my sewing machine and we're gonna sew a zigzag stitch all the way around it to finish off those raw edges and give this a nice little outline. Now, what I've done this before, um, when I was in high school, I did this before and we just used black puff paint all the way around it. And that actually kept it on for a very, very long time. Um, so that is a very easy way to do this, but I am gonna go and sew it on my sewing machine. You lift up the foot as I'm turning, and I wanna keep, there is a little uh, line right where my needle is. I wanna keep that right on the edge of my fabric so that my needle is going right on the inside and outside of my fabric, like back and forth. Oh, see how that is? It's all zigzagged on. If you wanted to go around it again, make it a really thick zigzag, you can do that, but I think I'm just gonna move on to the next one. All right, now my last letter. All righty, friends, now that that's quote unquote embroidered on, gonna cut all these little trims and we're going to give it a good steam and we are done with this part of our project you know I like to show you these little simple things because sometimes we look at things online or we look at uh, projects that people have made and we're like no I can't do that I don't have this machine I don't have this um, you totally can do it. There is an easy way to do a project and you can end up with such a cute uh, little front like this. All right, friends, we are finished. Oh my goodness, this is going to be adorable. Just imagine this as a cute dress. I can't wait. So please don't miss out. Come join me next time as we finish sewing up this cute dress. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, just know that I'm here. Um, if you need any help with anything and know that I know you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And we don't need all the fancy tools. All we needed to do was use a sewing machine, print some letters from our computer, or we could really just have hand drawn them on the fabric. And we've got some cute results. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Let me know if you love it. And let me know if you can't wait for the next one. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any of our tutorials. And I hope you have a awesome, awesome. I hope you have a awesome rest of your day. Bye.